Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Achievement Run Gondu Let's Play. We continue here for episode 7 from turn 170 in the summer season of 224. So, this should be the last episode. We have our final 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 reforms to go. We'll just start here, complete this scroll of the land. And that will be 15 turns. We'll be done by 1... 85 turn 25 very good i thought it was definitely going to go over 200 but we got a little bit more efficient at the end there and pulled through we'll have probably one to two good battles left depending on what the ai does hotel has a good chance of coming with a three stacks we'll see what they do we'll ambush here we are marching out this way we're going to connect our lands I'll find them some help, even though we don't really need it. Oh, they can't get here. We could march them. It's very safe. There's only an enemy here. And we'll take this. And let's see. We're going to build it nicely. It's nice that they have this at tier 5. I think this is their tax building. I think so. And it doesn't materially help us. It's still three turns, so I'm just going to destroy it. I think we need to hit 800% to get two turns. And we're just not going to hit it. Downgrade this to a city build. We'll get it decently efficient. And eventually hand it over to our vassal. Ooh, flaming shot. And unlike what Liu Feng and Meng Da didn't do, we're gonna go reinforce our armies in Xiangyang and not leave them to die, like in Guan Yu's case. All right, and that should be it. It should be very quick turns. And the only thing that will slow us down is the fights. We are extremely loaded. Okay, so they caught our ambush, which means Salto will see us on the field for the real fight. We'll fight this to be efficient in the coming fights. We don't really like ambush battles with these army setups, but this is what we have. I guess we don't have to place it in the front. We could always just find a safe hill. Since there's no incentive for us to actually try to wipe this army. Alright, it's also downhill again, just like last time. And our reinforcements coming from this side anyways. The trees are just super annoying. Like, it kind of makes sense to try to snuff them out over here. We just go all the way in the back corner, maybe. Right, they have good line of sight here. They will fit nicely. They'll shoot over anything and everything. Mm, probably, maybe not that tree. But we can easily fit them here. Put them out a little bit forward. Give our crossbow some room. Guard this entire flank. I hope we are not going to be in their way. There's a little... Yeah, there's a little rise on the ground, so they're probably safe from friendly fire. I actually want them to be in regular stance, so they take the enemy archer damage for our other units. We'll fight off any infantry that approaches, and we have a couple cavalry just to be safe. Our generals, let's pull them back. So, I think... Fairnshaw definitely can look for a fight. He's our main duelist. 
He can fight anyone. We'll let him pick. Why can't they duel? Huh, can't feels like a like a strong word here. There we go, out of range. That makes more sense. Let me go pick him up. Alright, here comes the enemy cavalry. We'll be ready to do a little diswarrant action. He has a bow too. I mean, Taltal's group, most of their generals have some sort of ranged weapon. If he needs help, we could run in there and do a little boosting. It looks like it's going pretty well. They're shooting units, so go for it. Boris is on fire. He's going to win this handily. Any other unit going to bother him? Ooh, multi repeating crossbow, shooting into 80% range block chance plus like 45% armor. It's all base damage. We don't really have to worry about that. Jama Tian, not scary either. Alright, halted their charge. You don't want to fight me, okay. We'll go kill the archers. Alright, our reinforcements are here. They're hesitant to charge. Shoot the protector. Ah, uh, they, they got a command that they can't do. Oh, they kind of... So, like, just light this area on fire would be really nice. There is a protector in here. Uh, we just sent the generals. Got the garrison, didn't get the other two general. They lost a few machines so they can pick up the other groups. Stop moving. Stop moving. There we go.
Why is it so hard to shoot this thing? It's kind of in the open. Uh, I forgot to turn you guys on. Shoot this. Alright, this unit's not gonna do anything. We're gonna make sure they stand still, or they're just gonna rot actually. Looks like army loss is kicking in. Nobody leaves. Crossbow have a good time. And we'll take that win. Alright, we have a brand officer. I think we just execute here. We don't want to get the debuff. And we'll prepare for the fights ahead. Not that we need any more money. So it's up to Tulsa Halt. Three armies. We're all visible, no more ambushing. And he's chickening out. Bring a fourth. Okay. Oh, he's not fighting though. Kingdom of Wu's army. The Naman's trying again. We only have two armies here, but should be enough. We'll probably just fight them, actually. I don't think they have what it takes to take on this garrison. I could be wrong, but... There's an army approaching here. We'll just wipe them. Alright, no looter threats. QB3. We want the army with the more siege we want the army with the more siege weapons. Not that one, not that one. Okay, actually, since we selected them first, we're just going to fight with them, and we'll try to draw them to the edge of the map. This is the one good fight. After this, I think we're pretty much just going to delegate our way out until the very end. Basically running out the clock for the achievements. Okay, our forces are over here. Now it's not the one with the most siege weapons on the field, but because of the map, I think we're gonna be just fine. Yeah, we can hit that little corner and we can kind of start spreading the fire. Wait for the reinforcements to show up. I mean, we have the better generals. That's a good thing here. They're probably not going to charge out because they have to wait for their reinforcement, but I could be wrong there.
We'll first do the settlement damage, 100%, easy burn, 20 morale gone from all their units. Alright, we'll stop shooting. That's one fourth of the settlement. We'll creep up a little after the reinforcement gets here. Are they moving out? Uh, they're begging for a hell arrow shot right there. Got tangled. They actually have a lot of cavalry unit. This is not a great place for us to help arrow. We might want to wait for the reinforcement to gather together. Maybe just one shot here. Or we just trade shots with their general. Aren't we supposed to be invisible? I guess we're close to the enemy. Okay, we're gonna see if we can get max value here. By trying to hit through both of them. Oh, don't move, don't move, don't move. What is what is this charging arrow shot? Well, he's dead. You're next. Your uncle was just just the example. I have recovery, I'm not too worried about this. Go, go back to daddy. Right, stay, stay, stay behind, no rush. Actually, target these two because they're clustered together. Oh, I don't think I clicked it. Oh, did we freeze? We bugged out. No, I can't control him anymore. Hmm, that's a terrible way to uh, lose one of our generals. Yeah, it happens when you select Hail He wasn't even bumped, it, it just happens. I'm gonna take out Sao Ba because he's got a Flame of the Phoenix. Oh, fire, please. Don't be shy. Oh, 
All right, we'll do a couple disorients. guess there's some brave archer militias riding up to here. I don't think I can do anything with him. Yeah, he just can't exit out. He's just stuck in the Yeah. Nothing we can do. He's not dying. He's just not going to be under our control for a bit. Dad as well. Mm, don't want to get tangled up with. Oh, uh, it's just Tindro Assault, but Heavy Spirit moving in. Uh, can we get a boost? Alright, now the Spear are gone. We'll fight you guys. More defense and more offense. I'm going for a smash ability here. Hmm. Team Joe Assault Infantry, I think we're okay with. Found ourselves a target defender of Earth. Definitely not letting that thing get close to these. They can shoot the cavalry. Alright, nobody moves. I'm gonna go take care of the crossbow. Not, no one runs away as well. Oh, you're in deep. Alright, we want another one. Their cavalry is lasting a long time, our cavalry is lasting a long time. It's a shame. Can't do anything. Step into fire. My bad. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I think we won pretty much everywhere. Tom's unbreakable, probably from a stubborn trait. Alright, we'll just group the generals together. Pull them back if we can. They still have plenty of generals. Here, go handle one more. Well, plus a hundred, minus a hundred. Not gonna get anything here. We'll give them some help. It's got dismounted. Okay. I think it's infantry time. Ooh. Where where did they bounce back from? Okay, now we can kind of plan this out. Poison the unit to fight the Tindral. All right, cavalry counter charge there. Three spears there. I think we committed everything that we have. Okay, 
律。杀！诛灭敌军。准备就绪，进攻。时机已至，准备开战。All right, we got this. The Tinjo units will take a little bit of time, but aside from that, I think it's over. There we go. Yeah, Herman sat out and healed himself back up to full. Today, civilization is dead. The dead are being slaughtered. Today, this battle is the end of the world. If the enemy is the king, we cannot waste our resources on killing them. These ruthless soldiers will be killed by everyone. Alright. So now that's done. I think we're also done with Xiangyang at this point. They can have it now. We got the fight that we wanted. We wanted them to chase us. And of course they can have our Toolmaker as well. And we'll just return home together for for now, I guess. If they keep chasing, we'll fight them again. We'll just see what they want to do. But in the meantime... I'm also going to stop doing assignments. Like having the new character to replace the dead ones. It's not going to affect our research rate. It's going to be three turns regardless. We can drop quite a bit before it goes to four turns. Well, it's just not going to happen. I think anything above... 530%, 35% should be three turns. Assuming it's a 16 turn reform. Well, they finally want to peace out. Uh, they can't submit, so. We'll take it, because uh, basically we're trying to just end the game now. And every fight they're offering us, we're delegating anyways. We had our moment with them. Minus 20 faction support. Not worried about that. We got the sightseeing army again. All right, we'll back. We'll come back to uh, Xiangyong, and that's it. Add those three armies together, you don't even have a full army. They do like to chase. Wow, no time wasted healing. We'll wait for them in Shangyong. We probably won't fight it. Oh, they're beating them back. Yes, our vassal is killing Coral's faction. Take the land back. Oh, we got the first achievement for the scrolls. Another rank seven general dying. Is it possible to see gold armor ever? The rank four. 
only 66 and he's a great healer as well fortune teller yeah we'll take that lost another local leader they take turn dropping why not parents out get a job no, 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 no. Just cover that. You guys. Don't sit inside. Make it welcoming. Alright, one done. Moving on to the next. And watch them chase us. Oh, Liu Bei's just trying to go home, okay. He's like, these gates look a little bit easier. Oh, never mind. They're like, no, 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 you don't want to go there. Like the thing about AI difficulty, it's not the quantity of the army they throw at you. It's their behavior in battle that is the part where you're beating the AI so much. Because the programming for them is quite simple. And it, it can only be that way. Like I understand why they don't make it harder. One, it's a lot more expensive to do so. And two, it's just who are you targeting to play the game if you make the game super hardcore like everyone like to think they're a hardcore player but how many games are you actually going to play if you're just getting whooped by the ai every time well he's loaded and the number of player they have you know pretty good stats on how many of their player base plays on what difficulty and usually the number that plays on let's say easy difficulty is closer to like 50 percent of the player base the people who you know watches, let's plays, learns about the game, you're in the minority. And the game isn't really targeted for you, and it's just hard to design games that way. All right, we'll see if they try to tap that. Well, they got an army up here real quick. So proud, so proud. They do try, but uh, obviously at a gate pass with the militia army. We have almost 200k. It's it's time to give our give our vassal some more money. Oh gosh, Gongsun Zhen has the misfortune of having his turn before Cao Cao every single cycle. And deja vu over here. I mean, that path isn't really a path that armies use geographically. This is basically going through the Han River into Hanzhong. Like you're going upstream against the river in a mountain valley. We both declare war on Du Qi. You're, you're getting ambitious here. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to say no to you. What I want to say is like, here, have some money. Like, use that money to win the war. Here, take it. Negative nine food? What are you doing? I left them at tier four with a max farm. What are you doing? I gave I gave them Chen. Like how much food is in Chen?
that's nice to pick up a character, even though we have sort of stopped assignments the last wave. New guy with new items. Cao is getting smart. Cao Cao's like, oh, Gong Zizan's army is walking up into this four-man death train. Let's take the other path. Where it's just, you know, two armies instead of four, but there's a gate pass with double stack. I guess there's a double stack here too because of the, the garrison building that we have placed. Ooh, found a new job. He just got knocked out in Koron's army over there. We saw he's he's now suddenly working for Gongsun Zan. They're, they're coming. So, oh, Sunan, we wanted to see you. They took it back. That's right. Go counterattack. We'll give you more money. They picked on war with Lady Jerome. Oh man, they're dumb. They don't know what we've been shielding them from. Oh, we got hit with this. I think that's the faction council version. It's not Cao Cao's scheme, but it's equally bad. Oh man, you guys. Oh, positive nine now. Good, good. I was, I was worried for, for a moment there. About to give you guys some food, so we're going to give you... Is 20k good? Oh, you guys have a bigger appetite now, I see. So 32k. It's dipping fast. Right, because I think we're, yeah, we're treating the enemy a little bit too nicely every time we, like, ransom the enemy troops and whatnot. And we'll also give you per turn funding. About 5,000. Yeah. Just, just take another 33k. Do your thing, do your thing. And we'll do our own cultivation. Three reforms left. Tell us how backed off. I mean, now we have like full vision through our vassals' land. Our vassals not at war with any of them, so they're just walking through complete vision, and we know exactly what they're doing before they hit. Our area, and you can just see how confused the AI is with the decision making. Like perhaps they're answering some new threat they have elsewhere, but it's just the non-committal ruins their supplies. Speaking of supplies, we're getting reserve pulled. Good items, but not something we will be using. Yep, we're good. Another wave of death. Oh, we lost Pianshaw, I think. Yeah, every, everyone's dying now. We actually kind of want to replace a veteran with a veteran because of the skill tree for the siege weapons, but we actually haven't picked up that many veterans. Minus 20 food from Tsao We're down to one food. And now we're getting hit with everything. Panshaw has died. 
At least two of them were in their 70s. Do we have anyone with a food boost? There we go. I mean, it's also winter. We can also raise taxes. It, it's flexible. Huh. Liu Qi. It's like, I'm a local here. I mean, we have two here, so... I guess we can just do two at each place. Should be 2v2, because Telltale's army get pulled. Oh, Telltale's army's not coming in to help. He's like, man, I know you're here. They're brother-in-laws. They both marry Lady Ding. Yeah, that one's on on Tal Tal there. All right, we're done with another scroll. Wilson's has also died of old age. Winter got him. Tal Tal is still holding strong. All right, last two. We're almost there. So he has to like walk through here. <laughs> We'll just block his path. We're not moving because Salsal's right there. We know where he is. All right, we got the faction council minus 20 food out of the way. Back to 26 food. Ah, failed, but it's fine. It's just his one stack. Oh, we actually don't win this. This is 1v1. What if we night battle? Still don't win? The other reinforcement not in range? Awkward, but not a big problem. Oh, they're expanding. Our vassal's doing stuff. Let's give them more money. Positive feedback. Oh, wait, looters spawn on this side? That's rare. That has not happened in 180 turns. And it's Guyong. It's not that Guyong. Yeah, it's not that Guyong. That Guyong's already dead at old age. The prime minister of... Ah, close defeat. Um, obviously, we're not going to delegate this. Can't even get an army there in time. Depending on how decisive the AI is with this. Yeah, that location we have not seen a looter spawn all game. Wait, they're on March? Why would they be on March here? I guess they step into our ambush on March. And they were still favored 1v1? Ah, they don't see it's time to die. You're 65? What happened to your sickly status? Ah, I can't catch them in the mountain. That's fine.
All right, we'll just pick up a little bit of fatigue Please immunity. Uh, we could go chase down and kill him. Kind of on the road. Items. Capture. Nope. I'll just go cover them. Two and a half stacks, getting any ideas at Wu Path? Wait, he swapped Sao Hu Yuan there? That's a good way to sentence him to death. Who do you want to fight? Not sure who this is. Ah, the bandit faction again. Ah, oh, really? Can we not? Uh, whatever, I support you. Whatever you want to do, you have our backing. Oh, the appetite grows. Now it's 40k. Well, they destroyed Duzi's faction. Well, they also took don't. There's st oh, they're they're taking out Corn's Cor 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 crying right now. So you think you're the only one with the Zor Dragons with enough funding? You know, you guys are doing so well. Here you go. We're gonna give you a uh, per turn payment. How about another five k? Oh, appetite has really grown across the board. They have eighty three k in the bank, so I don't think they need cash. I'm just gonna boost their per turn income so they feel more comfortable doing stuff with their money. And uh, that that is it. We'll chase him down. They sent you here to die. Oh, it's Hao Hong as well. Well, 64. How is Hao Hong still 28? So he came of age in 214? No wonder why he's like never in the game. And no one's coming here anymore. Everyone's like, we're taking a different path. This is a death trap. All right, we made it. We made it. Wait, we're here. Wait, different guy? Was it Gu Yong? Now it's Liu Yong. Did he get like adopted into the faction or something? Like they changed his name? Like you can change the name if you're adopted into the faction, maybe. I don't know. It's, uh, like, I don't think it was supposed to be a swap. Take some replenishment boost. I'm not sure if we need it. We might get attacked from here now. But you know what? Our vassal is doing, doing well. We, we want to encourage them and let them do their thing. <laughs> he bumped the gate, saw the ambush, bumped right back. Nope. Nope. We don't have enough. I was pulling back. They lost Xiao Hou Yuan. They lost Hao Hong. Ooh, can we win this? They got it. Beihai's already taken by Yellow Turban Rebels. <laughs> of course. Oh, we're getting hit with everything from Cao Cao. Last one. Three more turns. And that's it. Cultivation achieved. Uh, it's squeezed through this way. No, it can't even. You can't. That's not a path. Uh, we don't have to do anything. 
We could technically kind of go back with all four armies, catch them between the Wu path, like right here on this road, and just wipe them all out. But uh, there's no need. It's actually kind of funnier watching them discover the ambush and decide, nope, no go, no go. Mission aborted. Yeah, Koron's reaction is scrambling. Keep pushing. Don't be sad. Yeah, keep pushing. Don't be satisfied. Take their port. Take everything. We're going to give them more money. I think they're duchy now in terms of like land. Okay, we lost someone on the bench. It's okay. Here, let me give you 50k. They have 131k now. Then we'll do another per turn boost. We'll give you another 5,000. Not enough? 6k. Take it. Oh, you know what else I can give you? This is, you know, how Li Wu betrays his master, you know, when someone really wealthy shows up and just give you buckets of weapons, horses, and money. Your boss is no longer your boss anymore. We are loaded. Alright, go do your thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll just leave it alone. Wait, technically our empire now stretched from uh, all the way west of the map to all the way east of the map because they took the port in Lilan. you arrive to die. Duchy of Chen. Another scheme, but we have the food buffer. Another death. Galgun's factions wiped. Another character. We're gonna snatch him up. I think Kono's faction is gone. Maybe they have an army somewhere, but looks like they're done. Wait, Gonsun-san decided to take a very interesting path here. Uh, it's fine. We have a few more turns, maybe two turns, and I think that's it. So we're done here. We're going to leave the mortal realm and uh, leave it to our vassal to take care of. Like, we gave them 131k, we still have more than 131k in the bank. Oh, Wasu shows up. How old must Wasu be? I think we did it. I think we're done. We got all of the achievements, we got all the reforms, we got our unique building, four achievement complete, turn 185, and uh, that's a wrap. It's a quite an interesting campaign. Did not know you can vassalize Han factions as Yellow Turban, and then we basically grew them out and gave them enough money so that they can sort of do their thing, and uh, indeed they did. They not only took back the land they lost to Cornwall's faction, they got a whole bunch more. And, you know, with their current strength, we can definitely work together with them, sick the rest of the map and destroy everyone, make them into a kingdom for all we care. But uh, I think it's going to be a wrap. We got our achievement done. We'll be back with a, a different campaign next time. Not sure exactly what yet, but we'll see. Hope you guys enjoy this one and we'll see you all next time. Bye.